Hey, everyone. Hey, Warrior of Valor. Did you know the missile knows where it is at all times? I mean, yes? Question mark? I don't know what you mean by that. <laughs> Let me turn up the desktop audio, because I don't think you guys can even hear the game. I can barely hear the game, actually. Um... Hey, Rosgris. What's up with you? Okay, no, there's the game now, but... <laughs> Someone get that goose out of here! Oh god, how would... Why hasn't anyone done, um... A goose game parody image with Ace Combat? What would... What would the goose take from an Ace Combat character? should be able to hear it now, I just turned it up. Is that better? The goose is responsible for the boots on the sheets. <laughs> it's a copy pasta meme from an old flight training video. Huh. Hey, Starscream, what's up? I mean, we could go Dirty Boots. Let's go Dirty Boots. So, guys, by Gold818 suggestion in the previous stream, I did add a donation option if you'd like to support that way instead of going through Twitch. Check the link in the, uh, in the panels below. The goose would totally either be Trigger walking over Taurus's crisp white sheets or Chopper. Uh, how how was Chopper? exactly a week away. I, yes, it is exactly a week away. Um, if you go up to the top above my video, unless you're on mobile, but if you're on desktop, uh, at, above my video there should be an events link, and you can set a reminder for when I start streaming, you know, the next mission. I'm going to start it half an hour early to get another run of this mission in, and then, and then we go to the next one. Strider Squadron, aircraft prep complete. You're clear Why to taxi. Why not? It's all, uh, all faithful. As May and her family would say. Also, hey, Ace the Mace, welcome to the stream. It's a requiem. Set off as soon as we're ready. Still love that zoom out. Here we go. Do it with a bang. Understood. Shit. What's up? Friendly aircraft and EW aircraft will arrive five minutes late. What? Yeah. Retreat and wait for backup. Retreat not authorized. So air superiority of one. Trigger. What now? Oh, I have to put her in there. No problem, man. Welcome, welcome back. Um, the last stream was a little late, um, but after birth, it went pretty well. I think the fandoms are poorly implemented aircraft, but that's just me. Poorly implemented? Strider 1 crashed! 
I poorly implemented it into that into that building right there. <laughs> oh, whoopsie daisy. Hey Fury, what's up? Favorite song right now? Um I don't know. <laughs> Let me turn down the desktop audio and turn myself up a little bit. All right, let's try that. Fury, you may also need to check your volume because everyone else has been fine. <laughs> but Rosgris, why do you say it's a poorly implemented aircraft? It's a requiem. Oh, the game is drowning me out. Here we go. It should be better now. The bank. Let me know. Understood. Shit. What's up? Friendly aircraft and EW aircraft will arrive five minutes late. What? Retreat and wait for backup. Retreat not authorized. Gain air superiority at once. Trigger, what now? Just more aircraft? It's just talking us. Come on, it's time to find a real fighter pilot. <laughs> Trigger's already kicked off the game. Falling in. After Trigger. All aircraft, engage. Weapons free. Gotta fly through it. Successfully. <laughs> and the F4 kept going. Oh, jeez. I usually do better, but of course, now that I'm streaming, it actually... I keep crashing. We are not continuing the stream until I make that. Here we go. Hey, Ember Flame. That haven't missed anything yet. What's up? I'm just <laughs> failing to get through the alicorn. Retreat and wait for backup. Retreat not authorized. Gain air superiority at once. Trigger, what now? Hey Jake, you're not late, don't worry. All I've done is crash twice. Alright, Flowey. There we go. Yousef used it as a dogfighter when the Navy designed it as an interceptor. Also, the base model had no gun. Oh, you're saying it was implemented badly in real life. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I thought you meant it easily with seven. I was like, how could they implement it badly? Flying under Alicorn of the F4, that is the ultimate dirty boot. I don't get the big iron joke. Rosgrace, don't bring that up here. I, I'm, I'm not going to pay attention. Just go to the wiki and leave it there. It's a wiki discussion, not a general discussion about everyone's opinion. It's not a general discussion about what your opinion is. It's a discussion about how the wiki is going to handle content. The EW aircraft have strong ESM on board. They can improve your dogfighting capabilities by enhancing missile range, homing, and more. I wasn't paying 
attention. Did he announce the PW? Yeah, he did. So I found out that um, that line I would have been way too close if it wasn't for Trigger. Just randomly plays. Like I was testing it out while firing on nothing. And <laughs> that line still played. Like, oh, that would have been close if it wasn't for Trigger flying around and doing nothing. All of the uh, aircraft in this mission are super aggressive. Not just the F-22s. The F-22s areas. are not in slave mode. They're not. The, they're not UAVs. Um, the F-22s are just leading the UAVs. None of the UAVs are F-22s. That's for sure. All of the advanced stealth aircraft are humans. Just wait. I'll get you a break in a second. Thanks. The Allies are more aggressive here because there's less aircraft. To, there's more Allies and less enemies. I don't know. I, I really don't think it's down to like different AI programming. I think it's just because of their count. You notice it in other missions. When there's fewer aircraft, your Allies will go insane. Incoming EW aircraft can help by enhancing your sausage roll capabilities. <laughs> count gave up counting his kills. Is it really count? I smell bug from witchcraft. Belkin nickname. Give me one second, guys. No, they didn't. Relax. It was just a BRB. <laughs> Roger. Set primary target to hostile landing ship Puffin. Our target is the captain of the Puffin, Robin Airy. Captain. Ah, uh, you don't see it. Gunnery is about to see people on board. You don't see it. Don't you see it? Testing hostile barrage jamming. They brought EW aircraft. I'm displaying the jammed area on your radar. Oh, there's a come at me, bro. Entering ESM range. Oh. Are the guns increased in ESM-2? Ah, six missiles left already. 
Damage the pump. Yeah, there's already one ship sunk. The landed ship is under attack. Keep the enemy away from our ships. were updated like a month ago when this machine came out. Hoping for the cutscene. When the cutscene happens, enemy fire and your fire all disappear. So that's why if you fire missiles um, right before the cutscene starts, they disappear when the cutscene ends. I was hoping for it to wipe out to wipe out that missile before it hit me. Oh well. I don't have the ammo to go after Mimic Squadron right now. A few missiles. missiles. Entering ESL Thanks, Longcaster. No, I don't think the guns are increased. You saw that little dancing? What, what I was doing? Ah! Oh! who got me, but it couldn't have been, like, someone important, which is kind of a diss, but it wasn't, uh, it's a requiem. it wasn't, like, Mimic or, Here we go. Do it with a bang. or someone else with a unique line for killing me. Shit. F's in the chat, thank you. <laughs> by the way, if you're subscribed to my channel, you should have an emote now, the, uh, alert, uh, exclamation. Trigger, what now? Yeah, that might as well have been me dying in the cutscene. Sent to, to dead. This, this 
Jack's got a lot. I, I suddenly feel a lot more pressure. Trigger, I'm seeing advanced stealth fighters. SG 57s, highly capable planes. Stay on your toes if you engage them. Yeah, it might have been an F 22. Poor old wife 22. Sure, my man Trigger was an absolute monster just now. Yeah, so see, that gun hit, if I got hit by one of those missiles, I'm dead. Bingo, the number is tougher than I thought. Check your traffic, keep shooting. Her flares. Got tons of company above and below. So soon. Yeah, CW aircraft and Drake squadron are here. Yeah, I didn't think you'd get her so quickly. The EW aircraft have strong ESM on board. It can improve your dogfighting capabilities by enhancing missile range, homing, and more. Oh, oh, oh. I saw that head on right at the last second. Shut up. You see Trigger complaining? Well, he doesn't These have 22s. Here I go. They are super on my tail right now. Shit. Chance or help? Entering ESM range. Come on! I only need one sasm in ESM. Rosgris, who said Eagle Eye was my favorite? He is not my favorite. I mean, he's not bad, but he's not my favorite. Not by a long shot. Trigger splash the hostile. Good. The ESM's improving your aircraft's dogfighting capabilities. when you find an enemy who's going crazy. Try to find out who's more Rosgris. What does that even mean? Uh, I made a video on this mission using the F-104. Never doing that again. <laughs> I can only imagine. I... maybe? I don't remember right now, I don't have the brain for... I'm focusing on this, I don't have the brain for thinking of... voice actors. I meant Sky Eye, had zero on the brain. It's a good game, I can, I can see one. Um... 
I think Longcaster is my new favorite AWAX, honestly. But my least favorite? Heavy Cloud. Heavy Cloud for sure. I thought we lost the enchanter already. There's the ECU. I will throw down for Sky Eyes on her. Hey! He's a very close second. Very close second for me. But... I'm sorry. Longcaster eats sausage rolls. Because any other kind of food would get in the way of his duties. I love him. Detecting hostile barrage jamming. Mid-run EW aircraft. I'm displaying the jammed area on your radars. Thunderhead is your least favorite? I don't get the hate that Thunderhead gets. His one moment of turning with the rest of the Oceans. Fine, but... Actor was Sky Eye in this game's VR? What? No! No, they weren't! This game's Sky Eye was voiced by who voiced Goodfellow in Infinity. I can't remember his name now, but he was not who voiced the No way. I refuse to accept that. I feel like playing this mission again now, after watching you play it, I only did a couple of runs of it. Oh. I mean... It's a super fun mission, but wow, the F4 really makes it difficult on Ace difficulty. David Lodge, thank you. Did David Lodge voice Eagle Eye? It was someone else that voiced Eagle Eye. Was it him? Huh. I don't know. I need to rewire my brain because I could have sworn that Eagle Eye was strangely voiced by the same person who voiced Cosmo in The Fairly Odd Parents. And I thought that he was married to Mary Elizabeth McGlynn. Or who am I thinking of that was that? Am I thinking of someone else? There's someone in Ace Combat. There's a. with that 
Darren Norris. Who does Darren Norris voice? Just additional voices. I thought Darren Norris was the voice of an AWACS. I don't know. I feel like... I don't know. My head hurts now. <laughs> I don't like Skykeeper because of how ridiculously generic he was. That was kind of the point, though. Skykeeper was... That whole first part of Seven story was supposed to be, like... Starting up a normal Ace Combat game. Until... You know... And then Bandog comes in. Um, Skykeeper was just a by the books OC and AWACS. That was the point. Ghost Eye had nothing special about him. That's why he's my least fave. Shamrock, respond! Skykeeper was better than Ghost Eye. Okanieba was very dope. <laughs> Jake! <laughs> A hundred bits for Marcus. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. <laughs> Marcus! Marcus! <laughs> oh, good. Good gracious. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I see three strikes. <laughs> I'll kill you. I'm doing a lot better with missiles this time. Because I wasn't completely out. When this part came up. The bogey shot down an erosion bird. All right, come here. There are no more reinforcements. There must be hostile. So I'm glad to engage. Whoa. Hey. Saturation decoy. Missile. Visually scan for the source. Missile. Who are these guys? We are being assassinated. Someone making them do their dirty work. Shit. She has less decoys than before I damaged her. I never noticed that before. It's hardly getting revenge. I love these guys' unique dogfights. Fuck! <sighs> that missile almost got me. as they are with high tier planes, I do like how they actually use tactics. I mean, yeah, that was, uh, that was crazy with, with an F4. And I can't remember how, uh, how it went when I was flying the F-14. Where's these? Where are these guys? All the way down there. I said Mobius 1! Oh my god, thank you so much! Thank you for those 300 bits! Out of missiles! It's time to use guns. Whoa! 
Whoa! What was that about? Sudden Eurobeat drifting. Rocket launcher shot. Oh no. Oh no, guys, don't. <laughs> I mean, please do, but oh no. <laughs> don't start a bit war in my chat. I mean, it supports me, so thank you, but... Don't fight. <laughs> Zap! Thank you so much! Thank you for subscribing to Twitch Prime! Thank you! Enjoy your new rank insi insignia! Or your first badge, actually. Oh my god. Jake, 500 bits! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Out of missiles. Receiving support from ESM. What do I think is up with Torres? There's not much to say. He's a terrorist. <laughs> I mean, he, he thinks he has the mentality of the old Belkins, the ones that nuked themselves, thinking that that would end the war. Um, I said Mobius one. Thank you, thank you so much. Oh my God, guys! I wonder if I can get one of those RPG badges from your events. Um, he thinks that killing one million people will horrify the world enough that the war will immediately stop because he thinks that the war will kill another 10 million people. So in his mind, it's killing 1 million to save 10 million. A trolley problem. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Sam. And thank you guys with the bits. Thank you so much. Oh, Ottoman, I think you're referring to Alex. Alex is an AI. And the lines that Alex throws um, throws around is an AI trying to figure out a potential plot from Taurus using Taurus's quotes. It's something that, uh, uh, what's it called? The NSA actually does in real life. Alex, please be more sensual. This is all yours, Captain. Whoa. Now I can finally have my sausage rolls. That's the kind of thing you have to have. Of course, anything other than fish. Warrior. <laughs> Look, this is a little underwhelming. Look, man, seriously, thank you so much anyway. It, it means a lot. Any kind of support. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, so much. And thanks for gifting everyone RPG badges. Then slow ahead, both engines. It's okay, Warrior. I appreciate it no matter what. Get that typhoon. Damn it. No? Got him! Alicorn fired on her with the rail gun. The landing ship's on fire! It's gonna sink! The alerts are showing up, right? Like they're playing on, on the stream, right? What in the world? What happened? Rosgris, it, it's okay. You, you subscribed. Like, dude. It's don't worry about it. Yeah, Ember, I, I, that's what I think too. This guy joined the Ocean Intelligence Agency at 15 years old. I definitely think he could be one to program an AI. A Warrior Valor, my first 10 subscribers get that badge as an optional uh, alternative to the normal subscriber badge. It's something that Twitch just added recently.
I love this track so much. Damaged me too. Was down by three strikes. They just added it like the day before I launched Subs Warrior Valor, which I thought was really fitting. He walked all over with his dirty boots over the crisp white sheets of my bed that I had just made. So, if you guys subscribe now, I believe there's six or seven more slots for those first badges. Let's have an assist in the next place. If you'd like one. It'll make a fine sideshow for a scheme to kill a million people. Or was it the plan to save ten million lives, command duty officer? Oh yeah, Rosgris, that, that's really funny. <laughs> Here we go. Do it with a bang. I... <laughs> Isaf, you don't have to spend money to be my friend. <laughs> Ember, if you have Amazon Prime, you can link that to your Twitch account and get free subscription, which still supports me completely. Stand by for further orders. Ottoman, Hold on. We still thank you, don't know who thank you so much. Were. Why were they? Thank you for trigger? subscribing. They were using. O yeah, of course I got an A rank. I didn't even get nearly enough points. Now forty-one thousand. Oh, I know that feeling, Warrior. I could have sworn that there was more than one, but... Oh, well. Another question, Alex. Or it might have been more than one account, but only one sub to go around. Hmm. Um... But yeah, I, do, I don't know why I didn't even... Restart from the checkpoint. I did that with the F4 without even restarting from the checkpoint. <laughs> but now I kind of want to try fleet, dest fleet destruction in the F4. <laughs> A rank with an F4. I see this as an absolute win. <laughs> Here for endgame references. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to take. I don't think UGBs penetrate the platforms very well. Oh yeah, Warrior, that you, you're keeping that VIP badge because you've been here since the start, and if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be an affiliate. So it, that's yours to keep. Thank you so much for your support, man. Just viewing is enough. Thank you. Um, I don't want to do the flying pencil. It's actually pretty easy with its rockets. Um, UGBs only suck because of their uh, damage range. FABs and burst missiles are better for that, but... UGBs still work very well for close clusters of targets. But I'm wondering if LAGMs would be good on the ships. Because SASMs turned out to really not be that useful. I could have just used an H blank AA. Yeah, I miss UGBLs too. We're gonna try LAGMs and we're gonna see how they work against ships. Oh shit, though. That's all I'm stuck with. Alright, let's give it a try. What other skins did I have on here? Did I put Mind Ripper yet? Or is Mind Ripper even out? I can't remember now. I I'm not keeping up with the mod community as much as I should be. Good old Silver. But we're going Mobius 1. Everything was broken at 6.
I could never figure out the SFFS either, really. Your first mission is to refuel midair. I'll provide you with instructions, so follow my lead. Well, of course, yeah, LEGMs would be better with ships than UGBs. What? What? <laughs> Almost had it. There we go. Excellent work, Trigger. <laughs> Excellent. But the BDSP is also, yeah. I could never figure that one out. But as a kid, I never even tried the bombs. I would just stick with missiles and guns because blind fire bombs. I did use GBPs because they could lock on. Call sign is Strider One. You will be leading Strider Squadron. But I couldn't yeah, use UGBs, we'll I couldn't use on guidance. We'll be under Cyclops one. Thank you, Warrior. Sorry, but I'm gonna eat while I work. My judgment goes Thank you guys again so hungry. much for all the bits and the food. subscriptions. It means Trigger. so much. I I wasn't sure one. how I'm many people would two. even think uh, about supporting me, but this now. means so much. Thank you so much. You can tell how many times I've heard this dialogue that I'm just talking over it. <laughs> I've done this mission so many times. May has seen me do this mission so many times. I don't know why I switched weapons instead of firing. Two LEGMs. Aegis is down. That's pretty good. Oh, thanks. Now I feel bad. You're not done, Isaf. Oh jeez. You worry me. Oh. Alright then. Yeah, like, I get a lot of people- I see a lot of people saying that this game's AI is terrible, but if you actually give them the chance, they can really surprise you sometimes. Chirp, 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 little chick. Oh, man. Young Sly would have loved XSDBs. I would have abused them. I still love anti-ship missions, Ottoman. Like, I'll take a bombing mission, I will take a mission like Unexpected Visitor. But give me fleet destruction any day. I love that we have such such a dedicated anti-naval attack. I'll be a little disappointed if... I mean, I won't be disappointed at all if we get another um, anti-ship mission as the final DLC. But I would like to see a really long drawn out battle against the Alicorn. Because we have our anti-fleet mission. We have one and a half really. We have this one and Farbanti. And Farbanti has a real big battle cruisers. Anchorhead raid, I it, that's not gonna be as much of an anti-ship thing. That seems like it's gonna be more anti-ground. And don't forget, we have to see Mimic Squadron in like all three missions, apparently. Hi! I thought I was gonna get hit right at the end there. Chirp, 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 little chick. Stick with your mother head, and you'll get back to the roost safe and sound. I've done this mission so many times. Detecting radar lock. They've locked on. We've still got rounds ready. Shoot them down. SFFS can one-shot Aegis vessels. Vessels. If you concentrate the explosion. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I know. Fencer sometimes survives me high, so the game breaks. <laughs> no, I'll go for the. I'll go for the platform. Scratches. I don't like them. They're like 
like sin lines. Yeah, I don't know how they could draw it out, but like I want the thing to be so heavily armored and full of so many components that we have to destroy first. And I want to have to like take down the UAVs or something. Like, j just give me a big ass boss battle, you know? Not like the Rinfaxi, because I'm worried that if I, I have to take LASMs, but I'm worried that if I do, it's just gonna go down in five seconds, like the Rinfaxi. CJ Carthy, welcome to the chat. What plane is that? What icon is that? But this is the F4. We're approaching the Marine platform. Well, the new recruits talk a lot. CJ Carthy, thank you for following. That girl swears more than me. Ooh, and you're hosting. Thank you. I saw you'd say that. Alright, you're able. Enemy fighters have just that one delayed? Eliminate these fighters with extreme prejudice before they can threaten the mission. Still have to retain some height. I know, I just. Got it. I love making making it happen that I'm the one that does it first. Knowing PA, they are going to end the DLC with at least some kind of reference to another game. Oh, I'm sure. If it does end up to be the Scully Islands, I want them to reference the Scully Islands. Just like Legacy did. Hey Phoenix, when was the last time you were here, huh? <laughs> I'm imagining it could be closer to Rufaxi, but with more stuff, and it's longer battle. Yeah, I'm fine with that too, I just don't want it to be as weak as Rufaxi. Like, the actual Alicorn itself. The longest part of the Rufaxi mission, if you take LASMs, is getting to the Rufaxi. Like, the Alicorn, the equivalent to a Destiny Raid boss, just like, doable with one person. Sure. But how? Oh, okay. CJ Carthy, what is that uh, icon next to your name? It's like a snowflake. I've never seen that before. Or if I have, I don't remember. Ah, damn, one of those. Sierra the US got. He's a snowbird! <laughs> there they are. It's the snowbirds. Well, of course, why wouldn't you use, like, the Falcon or the Raven against literally every mission in the game? And why wouldn't you use the Falcon against every mission in the game in 5? Our cannon planes. I mean, here's the thing. I'm sticking with the cannon plane that I, or the plane's selection that I had. When I was at that position in the campaign. So... I did that with the first mission. I stu I kept myself with the F-14. So I'm going to be stuck to whatever aircraft I had after mission 13 for both the remaining DLC missions as well. So that's going to be fun. The next mission, I think I'm going to take the F-35 because I did have the 8 AGMs. So I did buy that. Um, Right before. Strider one, enemy vessel destroyed. What's it called? Cape Rainy. So I think I'm going to be with the F-35 for Anchorhead supply. Raid, but I'm not sure yet what I'm going to use for a 10 million relief plan. I th whatever had LESMs, I don't remember what I had with it. To 
too fast. Lower airspeed. My cannon planes. Back left. I didn't get to see the Rinfaxi because I believe in borders. Lower your nose. You're too <laughs> high. Woo. You're past the guidance limit. Make a visual landing. Yes, sir. Done. Oh god, am I gonna slow down? Can I slow down? Okay. <laughs> Whew. But I... I overshot that. <laughs> Whoops. Mm, but the, can the UGBs go through the platform? Well, I don't have any parts on them. So let's stick with LAGMs. Strider 1, this is Control Tower. Is Jaeger teaching our hatchling how to I farmed fly? the crap out of two-prong strategy not until not I had the SU-57 with pulse laser. <laughs> okay, oh, that's cheating. <laughs> it's about a great war hero. The Nyad comes to assist you in 10 million relief points. <laughs> I would love- they could. They could. I would love it. They won't, but I would love it. They really could. The last thing the Aversions will ever see will be an oddly shaped pizza slice. Sure That's the thing. That. The pizza skin is on my Strider slot. <laughs> so that's gonna be fun. I should not be this close. They're gonna destroy me with their guns. It's not cheating, it's their fault for letting me do it. It is. It really is. <laughs> Damn it. It's not cheating if it's in the game. classification of an exploit. Imagine if the F4 was actually agile. Well then it wouldn't be the F4. Did anyone notice what killed me? Guns or missile? Uh, damn it. Guns? Damn. That's annoying. Mobius 1 going through a midlife crisis. Trying to relive his early days by flying the Phantom. Well, there goes my plane. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> uh, let's try that again. Your first mission is to review. Trigger. I let you borrow my F4 for one Sorry, mission. But I'm while I work. My judgment goes fuzzy when I'm too hungry. How can you talk about food? I I'm finishing this mission with the Trigger. F4. How come you're number one and I'm stuck as number two? That was actually Excalibur well, that killed me. I guess you. I can let it slide for now. And we're just supposed to follow you. I heard your spectacular captain. I don't remember ever getting killed by guns and X. I don't want you slowing us down out there. Three hours later. Shush. <laughs> I 
I will make this a three hour stream if I have to. F4 completing fleet destruction. I think those LAGMs completely missed. Got him. I keep calling it CIWS now. Sea Wiz, Sea Wiz, Sea Wiz. It's that one erosion that still says CIWS that, that throws me off. said with an I were four and zero. Five and seven. Or sorry. Yeah, five and seven have it with an E. So. It's up to personal preference, I suppose. Although, notice how um, Oceans call it Erusia or Erusians, but natives call it Erusia and Erusians. It's an interesting dialect thing. Enemy fleet has been neutralized. You guys just down some serious firepower. So I don't know if it comes down to that. We're approaching the marine platform. But they do call them. You see it's not you science, like with an eye, so Castlevania. <laughs> Legacy in a while, when does Olsen bring up the Ukes? Uh, last mission. One of the new recruits talks a lot. Swears a lot too. 
because, uh, hey, Salty Gamer, how you doing? Um, and Strike Freedom, hi. Hi, guys, what's going on? Um, also brings it up in the briefing for Fighter's Honor because the Rebels tried to fire the ICBM from, um, Fortress Intolerance to Yuktabania to create a world war and escape into chaos. Which basically confirms, like, the full retcon of the Yusin Rebels were basically helped by the Greymen. And it was a proxy Belkin war that was going on. I'm doing good. As good as I can, having died and crashed in the F4 a whole bunch. But I'm doing good. I just bought a new 2D SXL. New 2D SXL. So that I have the... It's basically a 3DS, but without 3D. Okay, Fortress of Tolerance, poor man's megalith. Basically, though. Or is megalith poor man's Fortress of Tolerance? Because Fortress of Tolerance had. <laughs> Fortress Intolerance had way more defenses than Megalus. It's like in Pokemon. Which Pokemon? I have Pokemon... Uh, y, I believe. Yeah, I think it's Y. Please bring my F4 back this time. Man, there was some sort of war, but I don't remember when it was. <laughs> All those shoes uh, videos are hilarious. I love them. I'm not interested in the Switch. I am, but I'm not getting one until Animal Crossing comes out. I'm really hoping that they make it special Animal Crossing Switch. I've done this mission so many times, I can do it while talking to chat. Oh, Chaucer! Hello! Sure, Megalith had more missiles, but Intolerance was far more dangerous. Let's go to Ace is trying to destroy it. Hey, welcome to the stream, Chaucer. Thoughts on Breath of the Wild? I have played a little bit of it, and I look forward to being able to experience it in full. No. <laughs> Checkmate, Belkin. <laughs> Fine. Fine. <laughs> Megalith has the light show. Laser light show. Never played Animal Crossing. It's basically a life sim. Um, I don't know what, what other games to, like, compare it to. I haven't played Harvest Moon. Maybe that's a comparison, but I'm not sure. You're out of missiles. Hostile has a lock. I've, well, yes, there is a lot of debt in that game. You're indebted to a raccoon named Tom Nook for for the rest of your life, basically. Stonehenge was still best super weapon. I really don't know if I would disagree. Like, Stonehenge was a pretty cool super weapon. It's just a shame replaying 4 to realize how easy it is to destroy it. The map turns red in Ace Combat 4 in the briefing? No, it doesn't. It all resets, but it doesn't go red. What streaming software do you use? I'm just using Streamlabs OBS. Thank God for Twitch having a dedicated page to 
uh, setting up encoding because I can, YouTube was not helpful and it screwed up the stream that I did for the first DLC. Pixie was the best super weapon. It, Stonehenge being so tied to the story really did make it so satisfying to destroy. I totally agree. I was thinking of Stardew Valley. Um, hashtag Team Stonehenge, I just saw that. The chat's scrolling. It is similar to Stardew Valley, but there's no farming. And no romance. It doesn't turn red. I've played it enough, Salty Gamer. It just sort of resets the color. It doesn't go red. It, it does show as if Erusia controls it all, but it doesn't go red. The color red wasn't used in briefings until... Well, no, it was used to show TGTs in the PS1 games, but it wasn't used for a country until 5. Up between Stonehenge and Excalibur because of how short it was there. Excalibur was hella intimidating. I'll give you that. For how short it was there, it is intimidating. But again, that one is kind of easy to destroy. But th that's why I want to have Infinity's Excalibur onslaught back. Because that was not easy to destroy. That was super fun. Oh yeah, yeah. That, I've heard that line before. But you reuse a lot of lines. Whoa, I forgot. Hey, um, I... Twitch is going good. I cannot read your name. It's really dark blue on my, uh, dark... Gray? I suppose? Um... Background, so I, I can't read your name, but Twitch is going well. How are you doing? Solus is ever sold. Hi, hi, how are you doing? Imagine if Stonehenge used cheat engine. What? How would that work? Zero was the best final battle track, Megalith or Bust. But I really like Hush, to be honest. Shit, the second one. Unlimited ammo without reload. <laughs> that would be insane, but just stay below 2,000 feet. Oh, I've been out of missiles. Whew! If I got hit there... Someone else shot him down. Um, I like that this game took Assault Horizon's mechanic of reloading missiles. That was appreciated. I was almost jousted. Shit. Let me get him. Let me get the destroyer, last thing. Got him! Destroyed the fleet. What the? Do you guys see that? There's still an enemy. What? I understand the new boss's style. Our other newcomer is a unique character. <sighs> the old squad was bad, 
hand, I guess it's no different here. I could really perform. If only I had some partners I could trust. What is this? No need to worry. I got your back. It's not on the map. Give me a break. No, it's it's not here. It's I think it's this frigate. What the hell? I couldn't tell if it was destroyed. Sorry, what the hell was that? My judgment goes fuzzy when I'm too hungry. How can you talk about food? Trigger, how come you're number one and I'm stuck as number two? Oh well, I guess I can let it slide for now. And we're just supposed to well, that follow was you. I heard weird. Spectacular, Captain. At least with your It's the Alicorn. <laughs> Hurt. You did more to hobble the enemy's sea power than we No problem, Mobius One. No problem. Work. This should free up our allies who have been bogged down on the East Coast. In addition, this success allows us to finally move on and initiate the operation to shoot down the Arsenal Bird. It's a big we maze. Have a long road ahead of us. Get some rest while you can. What do you mean, what are you referring to would be considered a single battle with a breather? S rank F4. Didn't go back to the return line, ran out of missiles, S rank. Video evidence. Ah, uh, yeah, Ottoman. I, I I agree. That would come off as a... Like, a temporary pullback, and then get back into the fight. Um, but, Ace Combat gives you different operation names for different missions with different briefings. Oh, Warrior, I cannot wait. Keystone has got to be, like, driving himself insane trying to get those lines fit into the actual mission itself. I, I cannot wait to see what he's going to cook up. Count, get the sub! Righto! Ugh. That video is going to be hilarious. If I do Lighthouse, I'd have to checkpoint Scum, because there's no way that I'm doing that in one ammo. Ottoman, there is no dumber idea than, hey, we know this thing has an active protection system, let's launch 50 missiles at it, wasting all of them. <laughs> Oh, I checkpoint scum. Dirty boots! Dirty boots at a urinal! <laughs> I checkpoint scum this mission every time. I, I can't. I can't with the ammo. Yeah, Keystone deserves the subs. Everyone subscribe to his channel. It's Keystone... Keystone Gray, I think? Um, but just search up... Uh... What's it called? I guess just search up Dirty Boots. <laughs> you checkpoint scum at Hugin and Munin? For shame. Spare Six Keystone. Thank you. That's his channel name. Spare Six Keystone. How do you S rank the radar mission? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I hate it. And I am not doing that in the F4. No way. No how. I, it's so this. I've seen his videos. I've, I've seen them all. They're freaking hilarious. Um, I was just mentioning it for others. Mobius 1. 
I hate it. I want you to understand that S-ranking this mission is one of the most difficult things I've ever had to do in Ace Combat. It is so annoying. So please do not um, frustrate yourself thinking that, oh, everyone else can do it and I can't. No, it is super difficult to do. And it's infuriatingly annoying. There are two... Oh, Morgan with nukes. I don't agree with Morgan with nukes, actually. Because, yeah, the time limit is kind of strict. Because if you had enough time, you could just go around and destroy everything. But the time limit, the, like the time bonus, is really strict. Especially because you have all the UAVs to shoot down. Um, I remember that stream, and I don't think Sly wants to. No, I don't. Ember, every mission in Ace Combat 7, every mission is a combination. You need a combined really good score and really good time. The only missions where that doesn't apply are mission 11 and 6, Fleet Destruction and Long Day, because they're, you know, they're annihilation battles. So those only depend on score. Every other mission you need a good combination. Uh, Jake, that's not a need. Um, no, no, Mobius 1, no. You, there is no way, absolutely no way in hell you can S-rank this mission in an F4. No way. Oh, Rosgris, that's really time-based. If you can if you can manage the shortcut in the first part, that that really helps. Um, but Mobius One, if you, I I don't recommend the Morgan. I really don't recommend the Morgan. Even the Raven. Ace Combat Seven characters need more in-game development. I'll get back to that. Um, yeah, S ranks are a bit more challenging in this game, but most missions are not a problem. My recommendation is either the Rafal, either the Rafal or the Gripen. Both of these are really fast aircraft and they have the LACM, which is super, super long range. I don't feel like showcasing May's personal skin on stream. Um, Yeah, this mission is straight from the gates of hell. This mission isn't straight from the gates of hell. The S rank is. No, May, it's not that. I just... If you don't mind, I don't care. I'll, I'll totally. But um, I just figured you wouldn't want... Because it's yours. It's, it's, it's no one else's to play with. Um, where's Indigo? You know what? Let, let's do a run. This is just for you, Isaf. Because I really have nothing else to do. I was just going to... Uh, fuck around. I might do F4 final mission or second last mission. Um. I don't like the UAVs because they crash into the ground a lot for me and I I don't rely on I, I don't think they're very reliable. Hit Rafal? Where's Lemmy? <laughs> Pressure versus VCE? What? Oh! Oh, the parts. Um, I always just go with the uh, variable cycle engine. I don't... I've never found a need to really push for speed, except in multiplayer. Um, yes. Uh, well, I, who is the guy that was... Um, oh my god, I'm gonna hate myself. The guy that was giving me the builds on the last stream for multiplayer. Oh, I can't remember his name now because it was in the dark blue. Ugh. Oh. 
Warrior Valor. As far as missions are concerned, no, you know what? No, that doesn't that doesn't matter anymore because mission ten, it, all the Sam sites are you can memorize where they are now. It's too easy. Um, but Isaf, here's let's put together. These don't help. Because on ace difficulty, you know what, we'll keep these. I think on ace difficulty, you can survive those. Ace Mantis, thank you, thank you. Yeah, Ace Mantis was always saying um, light blisk instead of variable cycle engine or pressure. Yeah, mission 10 is a three by three grid. You find Queen's custom works better? Maybe stability. No, stability is not necessary here at all. We could try those. Um, but for certain, you need these parts for the special weapon. Maybe not so much the homing, but you need the reload time. You need the increased uh, capacity. And the power doesn't matter. It, these two don't matter. Lock on range you need. Flight speed might only help for the last one. It's not that necessary, though. In my opinion, I would just put uh, standard missile reload and nothing else. So these parts, Isaf, I'll leave this screen up if you want uh, to take a screenshot. Iraqi Falcon, welcome to the stream. No problem. No problem. I have take it take a picture of this whatever you need to do just make sure you have this saved somewhere so that you know what parts you need and make sure it's the LACM on either the Gripen or the Rafal that you're making this build for Ah Jake yeah either this mission or mission 3 in VR and Ghost Squadron is really annoying to fight too so they made the annoying missions at Waya Polo Mountains and that's a shame Isaf, let me know when you take it so that we can play the mission. I didn't think I was going to have to S-rank Faceless Soldier tonight, but for the purposes of demonstration to help other people, I'll do what must be done. No, Falcon, you're right. You're right. Like, it, it's really down to flight style, but the special weapon parts are mandatory for the LACM because they give you more range, more ammo. And you kind of need that for for this. The idea, ISAP, is to take out as many radar facilities as fast as possible while taking out whatever you can in the meantime. So, watch carefully. Is watching from above. Stay in or below the clouds to keep hidden. That means no missiles. I you watch it yeah, I go that. clockwise too. Talk about it close space. But I don't take out Once every enemy. Solitary. Commence operation. I'll also show you, you need to get the ace. Not need, but it'll really help you secure it. See? Radar's gone. Radar's gone, I'm already moving on. I also use the LACM on these AA guns. Fly away. I guide others to a treasure I cannot possess. Except I do have the S rank, so. Ha. Music man just entered the server. <laughs> yes, you have to capitalize on time after you destroy all of them. Because the timer freezes, and that gives you the perfect opportunity to destroy more targets. I'm not taking my hand off the accelerator. Yeah, the choppers are very hit or miss, so don't worry too much about hitting those or not hitting those. That AA gun is, can also be hit or miss. Whoa! Whoa! I'm surprised I dodged that. Okay, 
down, get down. And after some digging around, I found a bunch of stuff. I'm not sure you understand what you're saying, Spare Six. I'll let you in on it when we're home, Van Dog. These missiles are very fast on Ace difficulty. The lower your difficulty, the slower they are. Might be right. Spare 15, target destroyed. Fury in plain view, Spare 15. Get back to the clouds. Radar site destroyed. Show the last one the same hospitality. I know that Tomcat made a guide, but this is my personal uh, solution to the problem. ISAF asked for help, so I'm showing it. If he wants to use Tomcat's video, that works too. Timer is frozen. At this point, start going for everything you can. Biggest help? You see this big cluster of targets here? Take out these warehouses. They are very point heavy. Is the ace here? What's going on, no, I didn't spawn the ace. Usually, you'll end up taking out more targets in order to spawn the ace, but I did, didn't manage it this time. We'll see if it still gives me any S rank. Nobody told me that. The regular forces don't want anything to do with the penal base. My heart just dropped. Yeah, I do that a lot to myself. Bye. Also, ISAF, uh, Mobius One, under no circumstances are you to restart from checkpoint. Um, because that saves your time. So, you'll take even longer, according to the game. At this point, I just dodged. Modern IFF connects to our strategic system via satellites. It can't be decoded. Uh, Jake, I can never do that. Uh, with any sort of like expected success. I do it sometimes, I manage it, but not all the time. It really does depend on timing. Oh yeah, they're still fast on hard. No, this mission is not just time. The problem is you do still need a good score. You're in plain view, Spear 15. Pretty sure whoever's chasing me is not an ally. All aircraft, gather no, that's no, I mean that was tabloid. What? Tabloid was chasing me. Can you register trigger the blips around him as friendlies? What are you thinking? What good is that? What other choice do we have? Sure. Uh, Jake, I right. need to look at the calculation again in order to figure nice that out. Tight. Bunker Buster. S rank face the soldier. You can increase the range of your special missiles. Understood. I've set new ID data. You do also want to get this stage done with as fast as possible. I wasn't making a reference, I, I actually really hated that I didn't get that second missile on. It's gonna cost me time. Oh my god! Okay, I am not doing very well here. I am doing horrible! Okay, Mobius One, hopefully you would have a better time with these F-18s than I am right now. Usually I do better than this. Waiting for the final soundtrack release. It's coming in hot. 
because there's no way we can figure out those lyrics. Zap doesn't know the lyrics either. If it gets to three Helios, then that's a problem. You probably haven't done it in enough time. Fast enough, I mean. That was not a good run. Go get him. I'm gonna get an A rank. Where is it? Count. Rhino, this is it. All right, I got the last one. Oh yeah. Ember, what do you mean? Damn it! God damn it! Why is this? Oh, Jake. Yeah, that feeling hurts. No, no, that wasn't good enough. I've done this so many times, I'm, I, I'm just annoyed that I couldn't get that. Yeah, Falcon, that's, that, that, that is really fun when you manage to get that happen, but I, I did so bad this time. Yep. So, see, yeah, like, that just shows you how strict it is. There are two important numbers to keep in mind here. And th again, this goes for every mission except Fleet Destruction and Farbanti. Every other mission, even the DLC missions, are all run by the same rule. Two numbers. Time bonus underneath the rank there the top time bonus not the bottom one with the multiplier forget the multiplier the time bonus and then on the right side total destroyed the only two numbers that matter nothing else matters now if i look at faceless soldier what did we figure out about its s rank keep in mind that all of the s ranks on the wiki we had to figure out by hand, by repeatedly testing the mission and seeing other people on YouTube, Twitter, anyone else that managed to complete the mission. Um, none of the S rank figures on the wiki are completely confirmed. So just keep that in mind. But, you know, we're pretty sure about um, most of them. So for Faceless Soldier, you need 43,000 points combined with the time bonus and the total destroyed according to our calculations. So, 31,240 plus 11,900 11,900 31,240 So see, this confirms that the wiki is actually wrong. 11,300 is my chat in the way? My chat was in the way.
31,240. Okay, there. 42,540. That is my combined number. And it's shown nowhere on this screen. But that's, that's the number that I get adding my time bonus and my total destroy together. I was 460 points away from the S rank. And that could be either doing it faster or um ah no no according to the wiki 31240 is the maximum time bonus so i actually still despite me failing with the helios stage like the, the fact that there were three helios stages despite that i still completed the mission in the fastest time bonus possible. So what this indicates to me is that I did not destroy enough targets in the first part. And that's why I was saying the ace is sometimes needed. If you like don't have a strategy where that involves destroying pretty much everything on the map in fast time, the ace is really helpful. I didn't get the ace this time. So that's what killed me this time. Yeah, and Falcon, this goes to show you as well. Like, no worries, Ottoman, but th this is the maximum time bonus. I could not have done this mission any faster for any more points. What I needed to do was destroy more targets in the first phase. So more AA guns, more helicopters. The ace. That's what was necessary here. Long day. I'm sorry, did I say Farbanti? Uh, my apologies, no. Fleet Destruction and Long Day are the only two missions not dictated by this rule. Those missions are purely point-based. My bad, my bad. Even the DLC mission, and the DLC mission's S rank is extremely strict. Because in most cases, you lose... So... What happens if you go over the total time? For example, this mission is 11 minutes. Oh, 11 minutes. I did three Helio stages, so I could have done four more minutes in the first stage. If I had gotten 500 more points in the first stage, even if that took me another four minutes, I would have gotten the S rank. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do one more run because I'm very curious about that. I already have the S rank. I <laughs> what did the timer freeze on? 12? 12 something, my first run? We're going to need to Excel sheet this. We did, Solotus. Q, Q and I, mostly Q. He, he was the one that was really running the S-Rank show. Um, but we more or less ended up with spreadsheets to figure it out. Try to finish in one minute. Oh, great. <laughs> 12, 18. Because hmm. I'm just curious... Let's go to 10 minutes. Let's leave the last radar alive and just kill targets for 10 until uh, uh, it goes to 10 minutes. Ooh, Ember! You got Shadowkeep, congrats! 
hang on, hang on. Let me go into the chat for a second because we have an Ace Combat group for Destiny 2. What do you mean log into Twitch? Okay, Streamlabs. You don't want to let me chat? Fine, I'll just go to Twitch. Ignore chat. Focus on getting the data. They need the data. Can you dodge the missiles above the clouds is the real question. I mean, I did the first one, didn't I? <laughs> McKinsey, where are you at? <laughs> that means no missiles. Even All right, let's go. Should understand that. Talk about it. Space. That's for you, Ember. Solitary. Commence operation. That's your target radar. Destroy the anti-air weapons around it too. Destroy radar sites. You're still under satellite observation. Watch out for missiles. Ah, uh, no worries, warrior. It's really just for the client tech for whoever wants it. We don't really like actively do stuff that much, but I missed. But it's there. Destroy it, and then scurry for cover if you value your life. I thought you'd say that. Oh, Ember, no worries. If you're on, P are you on PC or are you on a console? Because if you're on PC, I'm on PC as well. Radar site confirmed destroyed. However, not all radars have been taken out. The satellite's still in operation. Yeah, again, these helicopters are very hit and miss. Like, they are extremely nimble, so do not worry if you don't get hit, if you don't get a hit on them. Of course it's V2, I know, right? If you've got time to yap, you're not doing your job right. Got in using a trick any amateur can think of. Picked up a bunch of intel. Full man, that's your second strike. There won't be a third. Oh, got damaged. Thanks, Count. Two to go. I got my hands on a pass. There we go. And after some digging around, I found a bunch of stuff. Okay. I'm not sure you want to get some eggs. Spare six. Spare six. Mm. I'll let you in on it when we're home, man, dog. In this war, you can tell it's a life or death matter. <laughs> now, I want to make something clear as well, Isaf. Um, the reason that you get the armor and fire extinguisher. Uh, you can't see it right now, but I was at 44% damage. So, <sighs> think of this. The next missile that hits me, the next satellite missile that hits me, will take me to 88% damage. Insert uh, how far to paradise. But then the fire extinguisher will bring you back down to 50, which allows you to get hit by another missile that brings you to 98% damage, which then the fire extinguisher brings you back down to 50, which lets you get hit by another missile for 98 damage, which brings you back down to 50. You see where I'm going with this. It lets you get hit by the missiles if you go into the clouds. Like, you can get hit by one missile at a time, basically. And then just go into the clouds, let the fire extinguisher do its work. So... Oh, Ember, the missiles come from above. They don't come, like, straight on. So, they don't go through the mountains. They come above the mountains. Um... I'm sorry. Ottoman, you're... <laughs> you're right. Uh, 94%, but you get the general idea. Um, Ember, y you might be able to play with me on Destiny 2. I'm streaming it tomorrow, actually. So, every Wednesday. Yeah, Solatus, I'm with you. Um, Might be right. I get why people hate him, but Radar like he deserves some of it. Last one the same hospitality. I think no, that's a helicopter, not the ace. Stay sharp in those clouds. Here's that big mass of warehouses I was talking about. You always want to take those out. Spare 15, target destroyed. We might have another two minutes. And keep in mind, LACMs are completely useless when you're done with this stage. So you might as well use them. Remember that satellite is up there. Spare 15, missile incoming. I missed that one. But you don't want to circle the same spot where a missile was detected. Uh, because it can still dump hit you. Oh, ah! 
I wasn't looking. I was looking at the chat. Uh, D2 is not cross-play. It is only cross-save. But now that PS4 is supporting cross-play on all Missile games, um, we might see that change. Okay. The ace is out, so I will go for the radar now. Just to make sure... Nope, I'm... At the wrong angle. Hide in the clouds, spare fifteen. Missile incoming, spare fifteen, evade. They have me spiked. PJ is still the most annoying wingman to me. Shit, shit, shit. Damn it. targets destroyed. That's the last of the radar sites we needed to destroy. Okay. That probably put a stop to the satellite's missile guidance capabilities. Someone fly above the clouds. Because the ace is 1,400 points. Imagine if I had gotten the ace last time. Wait a minute. But now look at how many points I have compared to last time. What's going on, Bandog? This is the Air Force Base 444 Squadron. What is your affiliation? Yeah, it's not going to get there. No. Nobody told me there was this many nearby. Incoming Allied fighters. Respond. Oh no, that's that's fine, Ember. Oh, Shamrock is the. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. How, what what have I done? I am so sorry. Shamrock is the worst wingman. PJ is second. Guts is. Well, Guts and PJ can share the slot for second. Clown is funny. I don't mind Clown because he's not here for more than four missions. Ah, uh, May, we're always fighting, but what does it matter? I would give you a heart, but I've got a missile alert. I'm just trying to dodge this one. Because they can't catch up to me now, I'm in a grip. These guys aren't allies. Are they spoofing our IFF? As for you, mate. To our strategic system via satellites. <laughs> okay, fine, bottle. <laughs> you don't like getting wet wild and doing dirty, dirty things? <laughs> Who's on my tail? Is it an enemy? Hey, the enemy's working in coordination. I'm hit. I'm gone. At this rate, no one's going to get out alive. All aircraft head into the clouds. Get out of the enemy's sight. Uh, and then what? There's no time! I don't know why those lines don't get subtitled sometimes. Oh, I said Mobius. Thank you for the host. All aircraft, gather around me. I mean trigger. What? Warrior, that was my bad. Stop reminding me. It was not clown. Quarks are good. Dog, it's on you. Full man, what's your Drop location? the LACMs. Understood. Come on. Damn it. I've sent new ID you can now. harm them when they're still marked as allies during this part. Again, I, I was not making that a reference. Trigger, 
Look at Sharp. Quit flying through the mountains. Projectile incoming. Hey, hey, hey. Tell us what's happening. Come on. Damn it, not right now. That doesn't sound good. Air contact incoming at high speed. It's too fast to be an aircraft. It's not an aircraft. What is it? Oh, I saw that flash. That's more like it. Count one to go. Go get him. One to go. Where is it? Count. It was not an MQ-101 that killed Harling. I can get into this when the music's not up. <laughs> Warrior. <laughs> All right. Mini heart attack. <laughs> So see, I have 950 more points than I did last time, and I only needed 450 more points. So this should get me the S rank. You did that on purpose, Bandog. No, Bandog was not justified. Don't play dumb, No way, no way, he was justified. It was an accident. It got out of If he was justified, he wouldn't be saying it was an accident. He would be able to just say on the on the radio. No, no, he totally deserved it. But he can't because he knows the radio's recorded. And also, he's being a bitch, but. Snake Pit could be your own personal pocket ESM. It was me! I killed Harley! Trigger was the closest! Oh, Mihai has a lot of breathing, yeah. <laughs> Emperor! The mission was a success. <laughs> Makes the dark There's blue very I light need. blue. Yeah, there you go. I I only went by up 18 seconds. I took a lot more time in the first stage, but I made a lot less time in the sec in the final stage. So it added up to just 18 more seconds, but with 450 uh, 950 more points, S rank. Full band was not leaking intel on open comms. It wasn't open comms. The only intel that Full Band leaked was Stonehenge. They're investigating the ruins. That's all I know, and that's all he said. That is all he said. That's not grounds for killing. It was me, Dio. Everyone who has played Ace Combat 7 has killed Harling. Let's do the math. He died a lot of times. What happens if you do shoot down Harling when he heads for the ISAB? Uh, mission failed. But that wasn't open comms. That was not exactly same score and time bonus, Falcon. That was the same time bonus. Because the time bonus starts going down after 11 minutes. I had... If you looked, I, I had a better score. 950. Sure, full band gathering intel can be illegal. It's not grounds for murder. And sure, Arusha hacked satellites. That that doesn't mean that they hacked the radio. Um, no, it was not an MQ-101 that shot down Harling. If you pay attention during that cutscene, behind your plane is an F-18 that flies past the camera. It's supposed to indicate that was uh, what that plane killed Harling. In the original story draft. George, the guy from Tyler Island, was the guy who killed Harling. But since they restarted development, which meant that they only pretty much developed the game in one year, 
um, they changed it to a UAV, which is what Labarth talks about in uh, Anchorhead, Last Hope. The only like problem with that is that the F-18 doesn't have those red lines that we see on other drones, um, but still, it was a drone. In, the, in this final draft of the game, in this final release, that was a drone F-18 that shot down Harling. An erosion drone, mind you. So, Eruja officially killed Harling. Belkin technology, but Eruja killed Harling. But it was with a fake Ocean IFF, fake Ocean drone. So... Well, Warrior of Valor, like... I mentioned before, like, that explains, Osea's war doctrines explains how they can invade a country so easily and so quickly. Yuktabania, Belka, Eruja. Eh, I don't feel like going after the trucks. Sure, false flagging is against our international law. It's not against Strange Reels as far as we know, because we don't know international law in a Strange Reel. Any weird tech thing could happen at this point. Yeah. But people can't fly planes with their mind yet. Ember. Oh yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Because it would really depend on what 8 has to offer. We are talking also about three games versus one, so. But I would think most fans would be far more hyped for a Holy Trilogy remake. No, Ottoman it wouldn't, but you you know what I mean. That that caveat still needs to be there. It's not going to be too long until they give us some Geneva countries to have some discussions about war crimes in. Well, they had the Arkbird Summit. My big thing with Zero is that it could have done way more. I'm not sure what you mean. Like, Zero... I feel was underdeveloped and there's some hints S some people think and I'm not sure how true this could be it might be true like thinking about it but I don't know if we have any evidence um, that they were developing 0 and 6 at the same time Trigger. Trigger. We don't know enough about Soda what to say is Geneva. Also, there's more to Geneva than just the Geneva Convention. Strider Squadron, take off from. Excuse me. I don't know. I don't know if Geneva makes coffee. Let me see that. We've got quite a few erosions with us. I'm seeing they're sticking around too. It's a little speck on my mod. I don't care what country anyone's from. What counts is knowing who the real enemy is. Right, guys? Affirmative. I think everybody here knows the score. We all know who to follow. I even buffed up the coffin for a nice death. All aircraft, <laughs> follow Trigger. Roger that. Understood. All right. Not even gonna try that. Infrastructure down. It's the Not during that. Wide area data transmission. The drones are waiting for it to power up again. Ow, ow. 49% already. Well. Oh, 
or the Raven Falcon. I keep planning to update the mod manager, but everything else keeps getting in the way. Aha! 98% damage. Um, but I can't make non-skin mods applicable because the point... The Geneva is a coffee brand? I didn't know. I don't drink coffee. Um... No, Strike Freedom, I cannot make non-skin mods applicable because I don't want to make non-skin mods applicable. How am I supposed to tell what your mod does? I, my, my mod manager, the goal with it is that I can detect what skin slots are modified. I can detect what um, files are modified in the game, but I can't tell you what they do. You could change the intros for for the for those missions to a bunch of a bunch of dicks and i cannot tell that my point with the mod manager is to tell you what skin slots have been affected <laughs> super advanced seventh gen drones with an ai of depth of war experience versus one f4 tappy boy alert body damage I love how you started off with the Belkin War was a World War II analog. Got quite a few Thanks. With us. I didn't know. It felt more like a World War One analog I with World War II elements. Affirmative. I think everybody here knows the score. We all know who to follow. Commence mission. All aircraft follow trigger. There would Not be an that. interesting uh, all right. thing Understood. if we had seen how OC and Belko. Like we're fighting on the, the western the side of Belco. The place capable of wide area data transmission. The drones are waiting for it to power up again. Solitus, no one's managed to make a plane mod yet. What I've heard is that theoretically it's possible, but no one's made one yet. Alright, Falcon, see ya. Thanks for coming by. Modded missions? Not happening. I definitely don't see that happening. Everyone keeps, like, or not everyone. A couple people keep saying, like, oh, we could remake the Ace games in this, in this game. What planet are you on? That's not happening. Project Aces could do that. We can't. Aircraft mods? Yes. I'm kind of surprised the aircraft DLCs came out before aircraft mods did. I was expecting someone to make the Morgan. But then they announced that the Morgan was DLC. <laughs> Truthfully speaking, replacing models at this point simply isn't worth it. to see if we'll end up being able to add skin slots. Like, that's what I'm far more interested in. Attention all aircraft. Launch detected from UAV. They're small drones. Yes. RV, uh, Project Wingman. RV's using Unreal 4. I've been spiked. 
you would pay good money to have someone find a way to replace a Sukhoi with a Ming. Use that for something else. I forgot about the Discord role play. Use that for the Adler. Give me the Adler. Someone make the Adler. Ah, Sassim's only hit the UNEs. Got him. I don't understand why people think you can recreate an entire Ace Combat game inside of another game. As Strike Freedom said, it's just the equivalent of making a new game. At that point, do it yourself. And copyright. There's also copyright. That, that would get shut down. Bandai Namco would shut that down quick. But just the mere notion that that's possible. Someone make the arc bird flyable. <laughs> it wouldn't fit. It like it wouldn't fit in any hangar. Uh, no, I shot down all of Arugia's aces <laughs> at, uh, at the Alicorn battle. I don't mean just seven Solitus, I mean anything like that. The mere notion that we can do that in Project Wingman either. Just, no. Seneca, I was really hoping that they would add the Shinden as DLC. Some of us were expecting it. Flyable or going with the ability to PSO. Try to get the weapon targets. Gives me less weapon sources to deal with. I need help. I don't want to. I want to see Pops remastered. <laughs> the diner. You mean the diner? What do you mean he's probably old by now? If they remake 5, then yeah, he'll stay old. Freaking Butterfly Master over here. The Butterfly Master skin is just a prototype DLC skin from 6 little slightly modified. All small drones are down. Well done. Time to focus on the prize. Alright. Well, yeah, it would have to be the stricken skin. I'm behind my 
That's the space elevator. I'm getting Raider Sphere flashbacks. I was really hoping they weren't gonna put, like, a super weapon on the space elevator like Raider Sphere. I couldn't deal with that again. I couldn't save Sol. I couldn't save, uh, freaking Wit. Sorry guys, I tried. Missiles. Tomcat for the Pastor Bastard nickname. Getting an S rank here. What clued you in? What could have possibly clued you in? Need for the Sazam, so. None of the A squadrons in Zero were mercenaries, except except for Zubov himself. UAV is down. Radar signal is lost. Kill count to get a Zoe Raven as a wingman. Easy win, easy clap. The space elevator is just powered up. Looks like we've made it in just Oh, there's that. There's that. Uh, Oh shit, two missiles though. I might check one scum. Flying 
the tunnel after the UAV. What am I supposed to think about the erosion subs being red? Like, to turn beneath the wait, thank you guys. I, I had to read the chat again to remind myself to check my scum. Where are you going? We rely on Trigger too much. He's gonna need help. You can't be serious, Count. Yeah, well, you had no problem. As Solitus, her final you. message up the space elevator doesn't sound like she's being alive. She's talking alive, either. I, I don't know. It's weird. It's very weird. I keep forgetting. <laughs> I'm definitely not getting the S rank this time. Please subscribe to my Twitch channel. If you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free with your Twitch Prime subscription every month. Or you can donate to my channel at the bottom, or you can send me bits. If you like what I do, if you like watching me play, if you like my pro MLG gamer strats, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone who is watching and supporting me. It means a lot. have to pay respect. <laughs> That's a really cool email to the show. Where, where is that from? Whose channel? This is where I end the stream without a word. <laughs> okay. I really shouldn't be doing this again. Slow down. Let's slow down. I keep forgetting to turn off that option because I S ranked all the missions on easy and I forgot to turn off that option since then. Uh, usually I'm not supposed to uh, pinball. Usually you just hit the wall and you're dead. Did I break? Guess what, guys? I have to restart from the checkpoint again. It's a big maze. I only saw this recently on Twitch, uh, Twitter. I didn't think that I would actually ever manage to do it. I went too fast. I went too fast and I outsped count and the UAV. See that? That just closed. The only thing I could do was crash. If I destroyed the repeaters and then tried to go up the space elevator, eventually I would hit the altitude where it would pull me down and crash as if I was stalling. Like, as if you tried to do this in free mission. Because only shooting down the UAV and destroying all the repeaters and having Count tell you, fly, I know you can make it, that's what stops the altitude from killing you. But if you fly too fast, if you get to this section before count can and before the UAV can, you break the game because none of that happens. I don't know how I did that in an F4. I got an extra ball and the extra ball happened to be the Raven. <laughs> Hang on a second. I don't think I... No, I can't change that here. Okay. Count, where are you going? I'm doing some crazy shit tonight, aren't I? You can't be serious, Count. Yeah, well, you had no problem with Trigger doing the same thing. Trigger's different. We'll see. You damn fool. Count, give me your status. Alive. Excellent. You're both okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's anything bad. There it is. UAV spotted. We finally found it. I heard some static when the gate closed. Do you think the UAV is operating the gates? Well, there goes our only way out. 
Count, I thought we were this off after we came through that base. Wait, Count isn't even near me. No sign of the drone. Did it take another path? Doesn't matter. We know where it's going. Yeah, he flew Let's through the gate. It. There we go. Now the game won't break. I can't believe I managed that. Got me. I'm hit. Shit. In an F4. Fine, but I'm losing thrust. Is it my engine? Definitely feels like it's my engine. I'm fine. I can still fly. Drone is turning. They'll send its payload. Shoot it down, Trigger. Pro strats. Use SASMs. Party at Chateau Thievius Raccoonus. <laughs> I wanted to wait until I Whoa, listened. that was that was close. No choice. Attempting to land. I don't think for what it's worth, it. that's not the plane that you have to, uh, the wind anyway, that you have to keep goes. correcting for. That's just the fact that your plane on, can't fly straight up easily. Look, it's trigger. Strider one is returned to radar. <laughs> I did it! That's our trigger! He's a damn hero! <laughs> no doubt. You're better than me. Where's Strider 2? Damn it. Does anyone I can't have believe I managed count? that. Wish y'all could have seen that. Uh, I'm streaming to midnight again. <laughs> you damn fool. What's your position? Watching Trigger climb. I guess it's my fate to watch from down below. Yeah, well, we're all in the same boat there. Yeah, well, I guess we are. We're sending help. Give us your coordinates. Directly under the space elevator. Elevation is minus 500 meters. Minus? Hey, Trigger. You dumbass. Yeah, don't worry, Amber. Tell I'm gonna something. end the stream after this, too. What color's the sky up Thank there? you for coming. Good night. <laughs> the prop planes. People have done this in an A10. I can't tell you how proud I am to be the first to land Wait, what was that transmission? transmission? This is Captain K. Nagase. I'm just doing this CDF4 in Mobius 1's skin uh, at the end there. And pulling off a post all maneuver. To the pilot who generously gave this spaceship a place to dock, we are forever grateful. The universe lies ahead of us, waiting to be discovered. And now, at last, we have a gift. Were those drones remote controlled? <laughs> this is Captain K. Nagase. Were those drones remote controlled? <laughs> That's incredible. To skies unknown, the path to mankind's vast future remains standing, Granddad. Thanks to Mobius One. Oh, I love this game too, Strike. Well, that's going to be it for me tonight, guys. Um, and we get to watch this pathetic replay. <laughs> in this, in this, in the debriefing, your plane doesn't matter. You're just an arrow. <sighs> Warrior, enough with these, like, meta thoughts. Thank you, Solatus. Good night. Thank you, everyone, for coming tonight to watching me do some bullshit in the campaign. Um, so, tomorrow, I'm going to be streaming Destiny 2. Don't know at what time. Uh, again, I just kind of stream at random. Um, so please hit the follow button to get a notification for when I'm streaming. Um, 
again, if you'd like to donate to the stream, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, if you'd like to send me bits, all of that is very, very much appreciated. But I mostly appreciate you guys just hanging out with me and spending time to goof around in Ace Combat. Um, so thank you so much for everything, for all the support and all the time wasting. <laughs> Um, I hope Isaf get back to me. I hope you can S rank a Faceless Soldier. Good luck on that. I hate it. I hate it so much. Um, what else? What else? Reminder, next week I will be live streaming the second DLC mission. And to answer your question, Ottoman, the second and third DLC missions, all missions, all DLC missions take place between Bunker Buster and Cape Rainey. All three of them. All between that time. Um, what else, what else, what else? Everything Wrong with Seven, live streaming on Halloween, October 31st. Also check my events. You can set reminders for, for those. Um, but I'll, I'll also post a YouTube video for each of those to remind people, hey, big event on Twitch, come see. Yes, the, uh, Lighthouse Battle. Um, I believe that is it. So tomorrow, Destiny 2, and then the day after, Thursday, more Ace Combat. I'm not sure what I'll do yet. Um, I do need to see about changing those emulator settings a bit, because the last time I tried streaming Katina didn't work out very well. Um, Yes, I'm very curious what they're planning for next year. I can't wait. No, Ottoman, uh, Lighthouse, the mission Lighthouse is October 31st. Dark Blue is November 1st. Oh, Isaf, I'm not looking. I, if, it, if you just made a humorous clip, I'm scared. <laughs> I'll see it, I'll see it. Um, but yeah. Tomorrow, Destiny 2. Thursday, Ace Combat. Uh, Friday, Mystery Game. I'm probably going to play Sky Knights because that I can interact with you guys. Sorry. Headset disconnected. Um, I can interact with you guys. You get to be in the stream as uh, ground vehicles. That'll be fun. Um, so... And then next week, DLC, the week after, everything wrong with. Should be fun. Alright, I'm going to take my leave. Thank you guys again so very much for all your support, all your viewership. It means so much to me. And, oh, shut up, May. I know. <laughs> As always, I will see you guys next time. There's Count catching up. Goodbye, good luck, and good night. I'm just gonna... B rank. Feels bad, man. Good night, everyone.